Hi friends, I hope your day is off to an awesome start so far. Today we are going to talk a little bit about measuring. We've been talking about measuring while we have been in the classroom and we've been practicing some measuring. This is a book called How Do We Measure? That is the title of the book and the author is Anne Murphy. <clears throat> do you notice anything about the pictures in this book? Where do you think they came from or how did someone get them? Did they draw them or paint them or take a photograph with a camera? Hmm. It looks like they took a photograph with a camera and a lot of times that will give you a clue that this is a book about something real or nonfiction. How do we measure? by Anne Murphy. This looks familiar. We've used these in our classroom. It's called a balance. We measure things in different ways, short or tall, light or heavy, full or empty, cold or hot, short or long. What kinds of things have we measured inside of our classroom? And what tools did we use to measure them? Some things are tall. The giraffe is tall. It is much taller than I am. Some things are short. The dog is short. It is much shorter than I am. Sometimes whether things are short or tall is depending on what you compare it to. So if you compare yourself to a giraffe, you are short. But if you compare yourself to a dog, you are tall. Some things are long. The fire engine is long. It is longer than the car. Some things are short. The bike is short. It is shorter than the car. Again, it depends on what you compare something to. If I compared a bike to a pencil, the bike is much longer than the pencil. But if I compare the bike to the car or the fire truck, the bike is short. Some things are heavy. The hippopotamus is heavy. It is heavier than I am. Some things are light. The mouse is lighter than I am. This seesaw reminds me of the balances that we use in the classroom to me measure whether things are heavy or light. What do we call it when things weigh the same? Do you remember the word? The word is equal. Great job. We can also measure how much something holds. That's called volume. Some things are empty. The cart is empty. Some things are full. Now this cart is full. And we can measure how much something holds. <clears throat> Some things are hot. Cocoa is hot. Some things are cold. Milk is cold. Do you know what tool we would use to measure how hot or cold something is? Sometimes a family member might use this when you're sick to check your temperature. It's called a thermometer. Now it's your turn. What words would you use to measure each pair? Hmm. Let's take a look at the kids on the seesaw. What can you tell me about these children based on which one is up and which one is down? Just like in the balances we use in our room. What can you tell me about the difference between ice cream and boiling water? Or a rock and a feather? 
What about these two little girls? What kind of things can you measure in your home? Short or tall, light or heavy, full or empty, cold or hot, short or long, we measure things in different ways. Thanks for joining me, friends. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you get some good measuring practice in today.